Thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome back to Adam's Real Adventures. Today I'm on a new adventure. I am going to be fishing in my canoe. I'm going to be trying fly fishing and uh, I'm going to target sunfish. I'm going to try and practice my fly rod, uh, practice with my fly. I'm going to try and practice. I'm going to try and practice with my fly rod. I want to do more fly fishing this year. Panfish seem like a good place to start. I'm going to practice my hook sets, practice my casting, and it uh, should be interesting. We're going to see what it's like from the canoe. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy. <clears throat> so a little tip with the fly rod. Um, saw this in a video, I think it was Mad River Outfitters. When you're setting up your fly rod, you start, with, start from the tip, work your way down. Just makes it easier to, uh, to handle. I've adopted that strategy and it appears to be true. I don't know about you, but the thing that drives me nuts about mosquitoes, it's not that they bite. The bites, I mean, they're itchy, but they really don't bother me. It's the buzzing around the freaking ears that drives me nuts. It literally drives me crazy. And I'm a pretty patient guy, but I have no patience for that. So I'm gonna tie on a green woolly bugger. Kind of the Senko of uh, fly fishing. Should catch them all and catch them pretty reliably, so. On. <laughs> Little rock bass. Hey, look at that. Rock bass. Oh, nice, nice. Fly rod's going right into a tree. No, this is sick. This is gonna be good. So there's actually a little bit of depth here. Um, the woolly bugger I've got tied on is weightless, but I'm gonna put on with a bead head right now, just so I can get down a little deeper. Something's coming. On. Another little rock bass. Sweet. On. Rocky. This is fun. I wanted to fly fish more last year and I didn't get much chance to and now uh, I want to do it again this year. So this is great practice. I mean, if, if you're new to fly fishing or if you've never fly fished before, this is like pan fish are, are a great way to start. I've learned how to cast. I'm not that efficient, but I know how to. But my problem is I haven't caught many fish. So like fighting a fish on a fly rod and landing a fish on a fly rod is very different than, you know, conventional gear. So I landed a few rock bass today. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. So it's just good practice to learn how to set the hook and fight the fish. So when, you know, I do get onto bigger fish, I have a better idea of what I'm doing. So <laughs> how many people fly fish from a canoe? I don't know. I haven't seen it much, but I haven't looked for it much. So there's guys out there that will tell you like panfish are, are boring. Like Ben from Conjuring Rock that do it all the time. It's like, I can't believe people go fishing for, for sunfish and rock bass and stuff. And I try to tell them that, you know, if, if you're set up right, it actually can be a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm actually totally kidding. Um, ben always says that to me. He always tells me, go catch sunfish. It's, it's a blast. And I'm just like, who does that? But you were right, Ben. Well, that's it. That was pretty fun, actually. Caught a few little fish and uh, got to practice the fly rod. So I'm um, definitely going to come back to this lake. Seems promising. There's lake trout and walleye here as well. So <clears throat> I will be back. So <laughs> thanks for watching. Take care.